Welcome back to the Professional Rule Breaker Podcast. And this is our mini episode of Pocket Ninja, where we are here, where I am here to help you supercharge your sales. So today's topic is rejection, fear of rejection. So psychology today has a study that says 75% of all people are afraid of rejection, whether it is in your personal life or in your business life. I mean, it's not fun to get rejected no matter which way that you look at it, but I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of a perspective today, how to reframe rejection so you can use it to your advantage. So the very first thing that I wanted to talk about is embracing the nose. Like I know, again, nobody likes getting rejections. Nobody likes to hear a no, especially me. <laughs> when I get told no, it just makes me mad. And then I figure it out. But again, you have to really embrace the no, because in sales, every no, you know, there's that saying, every no gets you closer to the yes, but also it's the amount of feedback that you get from the no. If you're getting no's over and over and over again, think about, okay, what message is it that these no's are giving you? Because a lot of times they're just not going to say no, but they're going to give you some sort of information along with the no. So look at the information and maybe make a little bit of pivot to see, is that going to make a difference for you? All right. So number two, build resilience through preparation. So the reason I'm bringing this up is that the more prepared that you are, the more you know about your client, the more that you know about their situation and what they need and what they want, and the more that you know the inside and the outside of what it is that you sell. And it doesn't matter again, if it's electronic, if it's in person where it's boots on the ground, it's all the same situation. When you get that no, it should sting less because you've done everything possible, what you have under control to prevent a no. And if they're still saying no, then that's okay. It should just roll off your shoulder. But again, always look for a little bit of that information. Why are they saying no? And it's never too late or too, I would say, politically correct to go back to them and ask them, why did you say no? Find out why they said no, because maybe it's something that you can fix and approach them again in the future. And for everybody, especially if it's big contracts, if they're saying no to you, I would go ahead and revisit them again in the future. And you can even ask, do you mind if I just check back in with you, you know, in a week, two weeks, three months, a year from now, whatever the number sounds like that it makes more sense. But one of the reasons I said about being prepared is there's a study by Harvard Business Review for the sales reps that are really, really prepared. First off, 37%. They have less anxiety. And so think about it. If you are sure of yourself, sure of your product, sure that you know what the customer needs and wants, you're not going to have that much anxiety. So 37% less anxiety and a 28% increase in the close rate. So I just want to mention our sponsor for today. So if you are looking for healthier and safer products of things that you use every single day, like toothpaste and healthy snacks, go to switchaway.com forward slash rule breaker. And one of my friends will help you out. So again, preparation, I always say makes perfect. And you can kind of think about how being rejected, putting yourself out there is a form of preparation. So that's my third point is I want you to do something. If it's not this number, I want you to do even more. I want you to set up a challenge for yourself, a rejection challenge in which every single day you want to be rejected at least 10 times. 
I promise you, if you set that as a goal and you just go out there and either you're sending out emails or you're picking up the phone call or if you're meeting people in, in person, set it up so you get 10 rejections because guess what's going to happen? First off, you're going to end up closing a bunch more because you have a goal of rejections. Secondly, those rejections, every time you do one and you go out there and you put yourself out there, it becomes easier. And that's part of it. You know, I was working with somebody that needed to do a bunch of phone calls. He got scared. He didn't want to do the phone calls, but I pushed him. I said, do it. Doesn't matter what they say. If they say yes or no, just do it. It works the same way. Go out there, Put yourself out in front of people and then you get a rejection. Great. Don't worry about it, but you'll learn something from it. And like I said, it gets easier for you. So put that in place because I'm just telling you right now, if you do that, your fear of rejection will be less. So again, embrace the nose, prepare, make yourself resilient. And that'll lower your anxiety. So it'll be easier to put yourself out there. And then third, do a rejection challenge. And if you fly by those 10 rejections super, super fast, make them 20 in a day. The more comfortable you get, the easier it becomes. And I know that you can do this. It's all part of the sales process. People are going to say no to you and you have to be okay with that. But there's always that saying, you know, a no is not necessarily a no. It's maybe not right now. Again, follow up with these people too. If it's a client that you indeed do want to work with. So remember, a rejection is just a stepping stone for you to reach the next level. So I hope you go ahead and you implement this today, a rejection challenge, put yourself out there, go get them. And I promise you, your numbers are going to grow and you're gonna feel better as well too, because it'll be easier to get rejections out there. All right, my friends, hope this was useful for you today. Like I said, put it out there in your schedule. You're gonna get 10 rejections. If that's too easy for you, make it 20. And also keep track of all your wins and you will see your numbers grow. So thank you for joining me in this Pocket Ninja episode of the Professional Rule Breaker Show. And uh, again, you can always reach out to us and look to see all the resources that we have on the website at theprofessionalrulebreaker.com or go jump on my calendar and you will get 20 minutes of my time where I'm going to help you find some low hanging fruit or maybe even if you need help with these rejections, getting into the right mindset to have rejections. Go ahead and set up an appointment and I will help you with that. And in the meantime, go out there, be fearless, break some rules and have a rejection filled day, which gets you to the next level. Until next time, my friends.